My name is Arjan Tabatabai. I was born in country of Iran, 1952, and I've been in San Antonio in the United States since I was 12. Ali was uh, my oldest brother, was a foreign exchange student. I came to visit him and he decided to send me to school. But of course, after four days I went to work. I mean, continue working. I'm in a fun business. I went to uh, North Dallas High School. Then after that, I went to South Garland High School. And I major in business, have a BA at the University of Texas at Arlington. A business opportunity. Uh, we were doing so well in Dallas. And Dallas, after a problem in Michigan happened, and Dallas started going crazy, a lot of competition. And San Antonio only had like three fine dining. We, uh, we started in Dallas and came to San Antonio about 45 years ago. I started for waiting in bar on washing dishes, boss boy, wine steward, captain, manager. I became partner with Brenda Vaccaro, Mac Douglas, uh, Phil Vaccaro, open Arthur's in San Antonio. And we brought history with us from Dallas. We use 100% California wine. And now we did it in San Antonio. And I won the Wine Inspector Award, the best wine list in the world. Arthur San Antonio was the first restaurant open. It was at the Broadway next to Vidi Museum. Actually, it was only like three restaurants, fine dining in the San Antonio. We brought Noel Cuisine, it was new, French, Northern Italian food, and every restaurant has a club on the same roof. So we were doing entertaining and, and fine dining. The clientele were wonderful. They were all the people, from Alamo Heights, all the uh, doctors, attorneys, millionaire, billionaire like Red McComb and Charles Bott and Tom Benson. I had to meet all the top people and they all had a can with me or we send them the bill. So we became more friendly and friendly and they helped me through a lot. Everywhere we open a club, we always have live music because anywhere you go is all DJ or computer music. We play in live orchestra and every musician we have here are recording artists. They, they've been around the world. Well, I came to San Antonio, everything was Mexican. I wanted to get away from mariachi, conto, tano, all of that. I brought a new thing to San Antonio, uh, salsa merengue, tropical music. And we started having dance classes. We teach everybody how to dance salsa and merengue. Up to today, I'm doing it. Everybody learn how to dance salsa merengue in San Antonio for the best professional instructors. It's been awesome because we are so popular. We are number one club in San Antonio, top 10 in the state. People come from all over the world, especially from Central America, every country, Panama, Cuba, Puerto Rican, Colombian. Uh, it's, it's really uh, it's making a lot of noise because we work in fine dining. We know how to receive the client instead of paying me going your number. We constantly have contact with them and we give them personal attention. 
When you walk in this club, you feel like you are at home. Most of the club is only a box with good light and good, good uh, music. But here, as you see, it's like walking to a garden. It feels very really comfortable. We don't have troublemaker here. We don't allow them. You come, you're gonna feel like king and queen. I learned something when I was 22 years old. We had a musician, he used to play with Lou Ross. He was at a band in Dallas. He told me, son, listen, when you bend, that doesn't mean your bike be broken. That went right away to my head. I learned from him how to put the client first. People go out to have a great time and spend money and they should be treated like king and queen. And uh, I treat everybody the same. It doesn't matter rich, poor, whatever. But if you don't allow gang members, drug dealers, ref raffers, none of that. We have no bouncers. The people are so wonderful. They come from all over the United States, especially military. Expose me to the whole world. I named it Arjan because I had restaurants in here before. When you open a club or restaurant, you have to spend tons of money to promote the name. But everybody already know me in San Antonio. So as soon as I open the door, we've been success since today. We even brought Nate Cannon here for Amer American Got Talent. We brought La India, we brought Oscar de Leon. We bring big name artists. They love to come here because they get press coverage. They all dying to have press coverage. Flaco is one of the best gentlemen I ever met in my life. He, I had his Grammys for six months at my house. Because we put a show, people come, take a picture of them on his Grammy. But he has won the biggest award in music industry. Lifetime achievement. That's very a few people get that. And he's the only one played for Rolling Stone and record for Rolling Stone. Only Latino. Flaco is a very quiet guy and nothing is impossible for him to play. I've seen him play with my salsa band, a Latino band. Fundraising is major key of my success because I, I do five fundraising every year. Uh, last one I did was for American Heroes. That was for military. They didn't have enough income. We raised money for them. Uh, but Univision. Uh, Univision helped me to do one entire military. And we brought three super big bands at uh, uh, Brooks. It's a uh, base when, during World War I parked the planes there. And that went awesome. One long time ago for uh, Desert Storm. That was a big one. I have done more than two, three hundred fundraising. I made a CD for a foundation, 24 artists on that, singing different parts, including Eddie James almost and Paul Rodriguez and all the best singers. That went on the cover of Billboard magazine. I've been there several times. And awareness more than anything. And we made a recording song. And they sing different part uh, called Canta La Vida, Sing for Life. The message is very mild. And everybody very, very supportive. And I was, uh, there was 24 artists on that. Uh, another CD I made, it was for San Antonio Children Hospital and Flaco, Marcos Salgados, and the best songwriter out of Nashville. His name is Rick Orozco. And the best song is the one Flaco wrote.
this much I know Some scars are worth taking For those memories we're making And I know I've had the greatest of friends To laugh and cry at my Man's best friend is time That CD, you feel like that song God speaking He's talking about a little boy in the hospital, all the kids around him laughing. You have to listen to that. And that's the best song he ever wrote. And that's his last song because he's getting older. He's not playing. He can't work more than three songs. I'm planning to bring him here one more time. The secret is People come out, spend money, they want to feel like king and queen. You always have to make them feel better, compliment them, make a joke. Then after a while, they become your friend and friend. Then before you know, 90% of people come here or the one they have their table, we like to say it. It's all personal attention. The problem at the clubs, you pay cover charge, you walked in, you're a number. But here, we go at the door, I'm greeting them, making them feel better, and they're walking with positive attitude because they have no problem. Oh, Jennifer Lopez, Chris Tucker, uh, you name it, I've came in, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, I had Nick Cannon performing. Your mind controls you. Set your mind what you want to be and work on it. Don't go half of it, it's hard and give up. That's a problem. A lot of people want to get in business, education. They see a little rough time, they quit. I never quit. I had nothing when I came in, I'd say. And still, I have close to 20 million friends on the Facebook. That's how popular we got. Thanks to the United States military. Thanks to all the Latinos from every country from Central America. Thank you to Mexicans. They the one that started me. I have done some shows where Tahana was hot, brought as many 30,000 people. I put the best two on one stage, they had a physical fight, put, put a, a gauge between them. La Tropa Efe and Grupo Mas, they were the first two they were signed up for Tahano. And of course, you have the story, uh, Jimmy Gonzalez, by the way, he passed away. I'm proud of people coming in here I really, from the heart, happy to see them because they make me feel good. And I don't drink nothing. I'm just having fun with them. People do not know how to have a good time. We indirectly motivate them to enjoy themselves. Whatever it takes, by compliment, by checking with them, keeping their favorite tables, is hard work in here. All this club, they come and go because they don't know anything about cost control. They don't know anything about public relations. They don't know anything about marketing. They don't know anything how to receive people. All they want to take a cover charge, walk in your number. And we don't have bouncers here. My, my people come here, they're good people. Nobody's a troublemaker. We don't allow any gang, drug dealer. There's no drug here at all. I have brought many big artists, like Pedro Fernandez, the biggest mariachi. He's in a, in a book, his billboard wrote. I've been on cover of Billboard magazine outside. I've been in there several times, give comment about the artists they wrote about. 
I've been there at least 20 times. Awesome. Then we had Oscar de Leon. We, uh, we brought a group of moss. Oh, we brought as old as coasters. Uh, I mean, I mix it real good. And every Friday, I do a happy hour for senior citizen. And I have a guy who plays all the old music from 40, 50 years ago. We do that for senior citizens because nobody pay attention to them. I focus on every different people. Nazism is very good because they come and learn and they bring your friend and they try, try. Some of the best dancers in the world learn here. We taught them how to dance. I want to be different, San Antonio, when I came, it was 10 o'clock dark. There was nothing going on. You know, I decided to bring some awesome music, and I brought totally California wine. And I won the best wine list in the world. I have won to uh, travel holiday magazine several years in a row, ambassador award. I have won got million award because every year I do five fundraiser just so give people back and they support you. When hurricane happened in Puerto Rico, I did a fundraiser for best life entertainment. And I said, you could pay a dollar, pay a hundred dollar, pay five dollar, and donation, and I collected food. We have four 18-wheelers full of food we sent to Puerto Rico. And all this club, they're playing copy me, salsa, merengue. Nobody does nothing for them in San Antonio.